Hey everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this brand new video. Today we are going to make freezer uncrustables. Now I have watched so many of my favorite YouTubers make sandwiches that they freeze for their kids. Um, most of the time they have bigger families than me so I've never really thought about doing it. But lately my son has been asking for uncrustables and uh, y'all I just think they are so expensive for what they are. <laughs> the other day it occurred to me I could make them and freeze them. I actually have like a little cutter um, from Wonder Bread that I got, I wanna say like on an end cap or something in the grocery store when my son was like tiny. I haven't used it for years, you guys, probably since, probably six years, but I always kept it because I've never found another one. Now you could do the same thing with like a cookie cutter, biscuit cutter, stuff like that. And so I am going to try to make freezer uncrustables and I will let you know how they turn out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I post there pretty much every day about what's going on in my life. I'm a homeschooling mom and a lifestyle YouTuber. so. Anything and everything is pretty much on the table, and today it's sandwiches. So what you need is just a loaf of bread, your favorite peanut butter and jelly, and some kind of cutter. Like I said, this is from Wonder Bread, the cutter that I'm going to use to cut the edges off, but you could really just cut them off with a knife, or you could actually um, just use a cookie cutter, biscuit cutter, or something like that. It'd be super cute, really easy. The thing I found too is I usually don't put my jelly in the refrigerator, but I happen to have some in the refrigerator and that actually worked a little bit better. So it might be good to chill your jelly too. According to all the videos that I watched, it said to put a thin layer of peanut butter on both sides. And when you buy the Uncrustables in the store, it actually has um, peanut butter on both sides. So there must be some kind of science to this, which I'm sure somebody who is smarter than me can explain but um, it really did help that the jelly was chilled. I tried to use um, the squeezable one that was just in my pantry and it did not work very well. So just my little tip to you guys. I put kind of a thin layer of jelly in the middle of each one of these and I ended up making a full loaf of bread. I think it was like 10 sandwiches. My kid actually saw me making these and he really wanted one because of course when you see somebody doing something you want it so he actually ate one on the spot and then I went on to cut on cut off all the edges and put them in little bags I actually got these bags from the Dollar Tree y'all because I forgot to buy um, sandwich bags at the store and that's okay because these worked just fine I just made sure that I got all the air out of them and it worked beautifully we actually just got back from a weekend getaway and mama did not want to cook tonight and so I said why don't you take one of those out so um, he actually ended up taking a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out and having uh, some fruit with it for dinner tonight and he seemed fine so um, he said that it was really good and that it froze really well and it didn't take very long for it to thaw so from what I understand most of the time if you put these in your kids lunches or something like that they do thaw by lunchtime from early morning and so this is just a shot of how it all turned out it was super easy the process maybe took like 20 minutes and it was really good because I am the type of homeschooling mom where I end up cooking like a full-on lunch meal I have no idea why you guys but I end up cooking like full-on lunch meals instead of doing something easy like sandwiches and I was needing just to find more time in my day and this I think is going to really help me because at least a couple of days a week there is this option or kind of an on the go option too like if for some reason we wanted to go to the park or just get out of the house or go eat on the trampoline or something like that because we read on the trampoline all the time in homeschool so eating on it actually sounds really fun. But just keep in mind that it doesn't matter the size of your family, it matters that you're getting more quality time with your children. And I had put off things like this for years thinking, well I only have one child, I don't really need to do that, it's not a necessity. But we all get busy in our life and I don't think we should ever feel bad about trying to make more quality time with our children or 
more time for the things that really matter instead of sandwich making or huge um, meal making and things like that. Uh, this, this actually worked very well and I was really happy with it. So you guys, while I was putting these in bags, my mom was trying to call me on FaceTime to show me something that she was shopping for in a store. And it was so funny because I keep messing with my phone, but I was determined to get all these sandwiches done. I just needed to get this done. I was kind of trying to see how long it was going to take me in general. And isn't it always the mom way where you can't just do one thing, like somebody needs you, somebody needs to talk to you, somebody needs help with something. And on this particular day, my mom wanted to show me something um, that she was shopping for in a store. So that's why uh, we are trying to connect over FaceTime, but it's really not working because she's out in public, basically. I did want to tell you guys that these sandwiches worked out so good. They froze really nicely. I just made sure that I got all the air out of the bags when I put them in the freezer, and it was such an easy process. So don't ever let the fact that you don't have a massive amount of children um, keep you from doing something. Just find a way to do it on a smaller scale because we all deserve to have that extra time in our day, and this is definitely worth it to have extra time during the week. Thank you all for coming over. I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.